Hello and welcome to another spectacular thing. Today we're going to look at WSL again. Now WSL is great. You can install distributions of Linux on Windows and have them run. But what if you want something other than Ubuntu, OpenSUSE, uh, Kali, Debian, or Alpine? What if you want Arch Linux? Well that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Right here I have a blank Windows 10 machine and I'm going to go ahead and start by installing WSL. And I'm going to start with a dis with the Ubuntu distribution just so that I have something to work with. Now this will go off and install WSL and then we'll have to reboot. So we'll be right back after the reboot. After the reboot, Ubuntu needs to finish installing. And this takes just a few minutes. Okay, now that that's done, we need to enter a new Unix name, which I'll use Todd, and set a password for me. And that's it. Now if we launch Windows Terminal, this drop-down includes Ubuntu. And we can do things like sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to make sure that it's at the latest version of everything. Okay, Ubuntu is up to date now. From a command line, we want to next install Docker Desktop. The way that you install a Linux distribution into WSL is you first must get the distribution into Docker Desktop, then you export the, de the distribution, and then you import it into WSL. So we'll go ahead and install Docker Desktop so that we can get our Arch Linux distribution. Okay, now that it's successfully installed, we need to reboot. So we'll be right back after this reboot. After that reboot, Docker Desktop will start up and finish setup. Under settings, we want to disable weekly tips. <laughs> we want to make sure that use WSL2 based engine is checked and under resources for WSL integration we want to make sure that enable integration with my default WSL distribution is checked and just to be double sure we'll just turn it on here as well. We'll open up Ubuntu and we will get our Arch Linux distribution with a docker pull arch linux and this will download the latest version of arch linux from the docker hub okay next we want to create a container for arch linux and we want to remember this so we'll grab the first eight characters or so there Next, we want to start that container. And then we want an interactive shell with it. You can see that we're logged in as root on our Arch Linux distribution. Before we can export this distribution to import into WSL, we need to do a few small setup steps. First thing is, Arch Linux isn't sent, isn't set up with a Pac-Man key initialized, so we need to do that. Okay. Next, we're going to add a user, and we're going to add the user to the wheel group, and I'll explain why in just a minute. Next, we're going to change the password for that user. And then we're going to update the system. 
and this will take just a moment. Next we're going to install sudo and vim. Now we've added the user to the wheel group. We want to make sure that the wheel group has sudo privileges. So we scroll down and we uncomment this line to allow members of the wheel group to execute any command using sudo. Those are all the steps that we need to accomplish from within the bash from within Arch Linux. So let's exit. Next, let's change directory to a directory that I created this WSL directory inside of tools on the C drive has an Arch Linux directory. First thing we're going to do is we're going to export our Docker container to an Arch Linux to a tar file. This will take just a couple seconds. See, it's that fast. Next, we're going to leave Ubuntu and we'll go to a PowerShell prompt. From here, we're going to change directories and make sure that we have the Arch Linux tar file here. And we're going to import that into WSL with the import command. WSL import, we're going to give it the name Arch you can give it a directory where it's going to store the VHD file and then this tar file. And that's all there is to it. Let's exit and we restart Windows Terminal. If we go to this drop down now, you'll see that Arch Linux is listed. But when we run it, you'll see that we're running as root. We don't want to run as root. Root is bad. <laughs> so let's go ahead and close that and we'll go to our settings. We'll open the JSON file. We'll scroll down to where it says Arch Linux. This has all of the all of those options from that drop down list in here like PowerShell, Ubuntu, and here's Arch. Now for Arch we're going to set a command line And the command line is wsl.exe, set the username to be Todd, in this case, and the distribution is Arch. Save that, oops, save that, close Visual Studio Code, those, close Windows Terminal, reopen Windows Terminal, select the drop down, and here's Arch. And now, I am logged in as Todd. We'll install Archie and run it and you can see we're currently running Arch Linux in WSL on Windows. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions please put them down in the comments below. and. If you'd like to see a video on Winget, please let me know also, and I'll do I'll do something for that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and to like it, as well as subscribe to watch more videos in the future. Thanks and have a good day.